Semua dah ada dah. Dengar tak? Dengar doktor. Ha? Eh? Dengar dengar. Ya all semua orang dengar. Ah uh, 36. 36. Kenapa tak lagi tekok lagi bau 31? Siapa tanya lagi? Pukul 12 kan? Alah, you all ni. Apa benda ni? You ada teaching pagi tadi? Ha? Ada briefing doktor. Dengan doktor tau. Siapa? Siapa beri briefing? Doktor Taufik. Dah ada semua ke belum lagi? Siapa group leader? Uh, saya Dr. Musawak. Ya. Cek siapa yang tak ada anak nama dia orang. Okey. Uh, sekejap Dr. Saya cuba cek dulu. Uh, anak nama. Uh. Dah. Ha, ah, siapa tak datang? Musawak. Ni, oh, siapa tak datang? Uh, I think uh, yang tak ada lagi nakib dengan nakib. 
Naqib ah yes Muhammad Naqib dengan Muhammad Naqib eh ha dengan Atika Atika okey ha okay, let's start okey uh, today is about history talking history taking eh okay, you Okay, this is what clinical skill you have learned during your first year, second year, the basis of knowledge for the period, uh, for medicine, eh? the basis of knowledge. Now you're entering the clinical year where you are going to understand the patient, the, the problems, the patient, the problem that the, uh, the, when, why the patient come to see a doctor. And then your job is to understand the problems and to for your for your for you is that how you want to extract the problem eh? you see you are not going to extract as a layman you are going to extract the problem as a professional there's a different now this is a training to make you become professional professional training to make you become professional before you go to practice eh? you you go out and practice as a horseman first and then you are on your own as a medical officer so so your level now is you already learn the basis the basis of knowledge in medical and then now you start to build your clinical skill and the and then the clinical skill consists of history how to take history physical examination after that how to make the diagnosis how to plan an investigation and then you learn how to manage the patient to solve the patient problems eh? so the but for your year 3 the most important is this first four eh? taking history taking and present eh, how to present the history doing physical examination making the diagnosis and plan for investigation this is the main learning module for the third year remember that hmm? the main third year module this one year one whole year and you because human as such i don't know how to explain it because the knowledge about human is very human itself, knowledge about us eh, is too wide, too. Eh? I think until now we still the main thing we don't know about human yet. And then from the intrauterine, from the baby, toddler, child, then adolescent, then young adult, adult. Then after that you become geriatric, and the women who are pregnant some more, and then there are many problems such as bone, eh? abdomen. So no way that you you no way that you can make you can take heavy you can you, there is a standard a standard practice for whole range of Asian problem. There's no way. And because the knowledge of human are so great. You, need, you see, there are only frat, few fraternity who can have their own debris, not involved other people. One is the medical. The other one is law. I think law also have their own debris. Medical is one thing. You can have a big library, even medical library can be as big as the library in Gomba. That with that we talk about human alone. Yeah? So so, but then when when you become doctor, you have no choice. You have to have a basic practice knowledge, whole range of age, and because you don't know who going to come to see you. Probably two years old, ten years old, twenty years old. Eh? So, no choice. But then the decision is that you learn by the subset according to the age at the first stage. That's why you learn about pediatrics. Eh? Pediatrics is from the age of zero until the age of, according to WHO, 15 to 16 years old. Eh? Because part of adolescent is also under pediatric. 
But in, in Malaysia, we put it until 12 years old, though sometimes we go beyond that. It is because of the, the, the facility. Because you, if you want to have a facility for, ad, for the adolescent, they have to have different male and female ward, in which government cannot do that for, you know, our, our, we cannot cope for male and female ward just for adolescent and then for adult. So, the, and so they make it adolescent enter the adult adult what so if you go to overseas in developed country they have they got the dolson have their own what which not uh, part of the adult what so for for us for the make because the practice as such so that we the decision is made that for pediatric is 12 years and below though there are many cases above than 12 years still managed by pediatrician so the first thing is that you learn I just want to emphasize taking and present history, then because the rest will be done by my colleague. Eh? So you must understand uh, the first two years you learn is the basis of knowledge, which is anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, microbiology, pharmacy. So if you pass your first year and second year, it means that you have adequate knowledge to proceed further. You learn the basic. Now you learn to apply application. Eh? How to apply? To, uh, how you want to apply the knowledge that you have learned? Eh? There are many people say that we have to integrate early and so on, but I think it's a fallacy because how to in integrate things? Then you have not complete your basis yet. Hmm? Good to have under some understanding, but to integrate proper is very difficult because. Human as a whole, you cannot learn 20%, then start to learn clinical because you miss another 80%, how to explain the other 80% things. So that's why uh, the standard practice that after, after that, we go to the beyond the, uh, to the third year, which is a properly clinical. Eh? So the clinical mean mainly if application and patients, eh? that's clinical. Eh? So history. What the skill you have to have? Eh? First, you, you must able to extract the history. Then ability to critically evaluate the history and ability to present and communicate the history eh, with that you have extract. So there is a three skill you have to have. Eh? You have to develop. It didn't come just like that, no? No way, you don't ever hope that it will come just like that. No way, eh? no way you can have you think that history you can just get just like that. It has to be practiced. Because I don't know, looking you think kun fire kun, eh? but world doesn't work like that. Looking eh? special people, they got like kun fire kun. Eh? No, eh? But then kun fire kun is bukan you open your kuasa, eh? is uh, ni, eh? So we are peop normal people, which you have to, if you want something, you have to work for it. Hmm? You want something you have to, if you want to have the, the, uh, the, 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 if you want to have the skill to able to extract the history, to get a clinical, uh, no, to, to evaluate clinically, to able to present, present, the, eh, it all have to be learned and you only get it by practice. Yeah? And then so about communication, one thing about communication, perhaps some people they have, they are more advantage from other people, some other people, some people got, because maybe they, during their childhood, they have learned how to, they had learned and practice how to communicate. Some of you not, but that doesn't mean you cannot. Yeah? I have seen those who are poor communicator but by practice a work harder, they become a better communicator, those who start early, but they don't work hard for it. So when talking about history in children, first thing first, you know, many children, three years, two years old, with toddler and even, even below than 12 years old, they have different perception than adult, how they perceive things. Sometimes they perceive transformer is true. The perceive Superman is true. You perceive what Batman is true. So they what they perceive is different from uh, from the adult. 
So that's why the history you have to have to have other source in order to take the history. Yeah? Like mother, caregiver, patient, father and sibling. This is the history. You know this or not? The father, the I give number four. Yeah, they give the father number one, number two. Wonder why? Yeah. Anybody wonder why why they give father number two or father is above the mother? Because um maybe lah maybe usually father father did not uh, did not engage much with their children. Maybe lah. Maybe yeah. Eh? Uh, hopefully you're not one of, going to become one of those. Uh. Uh, sometimes they are fathers very good, even better than mother. Uh. But many fathers sometimes they just uh, you when they give the history something they don't know because they totally depend to the mother. And second thing, sometimes the father uh, what you worry is that sometimes because they they want they their pride of not. They don't know, they create the history. So watch out a little bit. Eh? So father is, there is father is very good father who, eh? especially if the father is a pediatrician, eh? then he can give a better history than mother, naturally. But there are father who you be, beware, eh? and then those father who just come back. Uh, you know, when, when the mother around, they depend on the mother and yeah, almost everything. So the principle of taking history, you have to look, eh? is you are an investigator, no? you are an investigator. Remember that. So when you investigate investigator, your mind, your set mind must be proper. Your mindset must be an investigator in your mind. You not just listen to the, what the, what the, that been told to you, but you have a concept, a few things inside your mind you know, to be a busy body. You have to have that. You have in your mind, you have to have the thought eh, of when, why, where, what, who, which, how, all those things you have to have inside your mind. You have everything you have to query inside your mind. Because if you have this in your mind, then you are not going to ask things very superficial. And you're not going to just listen eh, what the parent going to tell you and you become a narrator, no. You become a, an investigator. There's a difference between a narrator and a investigator. Because you are investigator. You want to solve the patient problem. Eh? So in your mind, you have to develop inside your mind. If you have this inside your brain already, you're going to become a good clinician. Definitely. And your life is very easy in, in clucking. Your life is very easy in clucking because you have this, this concept of investigator. When, why, where, what, who, which, how. Inside your mind already. When it happened, why it happened, where is it, what is the cause, who did it. Uh, which part of the body involved, very specific which part, not only just lower limb on the right lower limb, or which are not right lower limb, at the ankle, at the thigh, at the uh, knee, knee joint, or very specific. You have to have that, how it happened, how this thing happened. Hmm? You have to train your mind in that. If you don't, you're going, if you take, then this thing you had, how, how, I don't know, how, I, I find out who's a busy body, usually they're going to become a good clinician. You know, those who busy body. Hmm? Nak tanya, kenapa? Apa berlaku? Kenapa tu? Where? Kat mana? Eh? Ha, those who, who, who do it? Ha. Usually those become good clinician. Hmm? Because in their mind, they already have less eh? investigator mind, we call it. Eh? The other thing that your mind must be clear in terms of chronological order. You must learn something is weak in especially the Malay. Chronological order is that to know what's happened according to day-to-day -day basis. Eh? Chronological means day three, day two, day one for before admission. Because your, your, your point, your end to end is, is that the day the patient came to see you. 
So what happened one week ago? What happened to uh to five days ago? What happened? To? Not go five, six, seven. You 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 go up. Usually chronological order is the best. Is from what happened in the earliest, and you went down slowly until the patient saw you. Your mind staggered like that. So you if you practice like that, you always want to know. Even patient tell you three days ago. Suddenly they tell you five days ago something happened. You go back five days ago. Yeah, you, you something you see something is not correct because the patient unable to tell you properly according chronological. The third thing you must be clear and logical. Let's say patient is fit. It must be clear the fitted the fit they are able to explain the fit in such a way you can visualize it. If it's lagi you tak clear you ask back. It's logical. It must be logical. Hmm? Unless you say you believe in, siapa boleh banyak hantu-hantu ni? Eh? Jin-jin. Kamu yang you percaya ke? Eh? Ya, yeah, eh? Orang Melayu kuat pun dia percaya ke? Hmm? You, are, you are all scientific people, eh? So, you have to learn to become scientific, eh? Scientific, you know, scientific. Everything has to be explained by scientific. Scientifically, the Sunnatullah, eh? so clear and logical. Eh? So the first thing is that when you're taking history, identify the chief complaint. The reason is simple. Nobody come to see a doctor suka suka. You pernah jumpa ke orang jumpa doktor suka suka? Doktor saya nak jumpa saja dah jumpa nak borak. Have you ever seen that? Have you? Eh? Nobody will come to see a doctor suka-suka. When the patient come to see you, they are a complaint. Kadang orang tak suka dengan datang jumpa buat complaint. Tapi as doctor, you can accept lah. They come to you to see because there is a complaint or a set of complaints. So your job is to identify the complaint. Your job is to find out which is the real, the one that really bringing the patient or the the, mother, the parent brought the child to see you. You, don't, you have to identify that. Why is it the child being a child? Is it fever? Is it rash? Is it fit? Is it loss of conscience? Sometimes patient fever five days, but got fitted on the day, on the fifth day. And then they bring the child to the hospital to see the doctor because of the fit. Because of fever, because of fit. Eh? Memang dia dah di fever lima hari, tapi because of the fit, dia bring the child to the hospital. Eh? So, you have to, you have to identify why they bring the child to the hospital. It, it may not be one complaint. It can be two or three complaint. Eh? No, fit with androsiness. The fit patient to drowsy sekali. And then there will be a set of chief complaint, fit for one day, drowsy for one day. But fever is a symptoms so identify it but usually they got they are only they are only one complaint usually but sometimes there can be a few complaints that's the first thing if you are unable to this to decide the chief complaint you have you have to ask again and again until you really really know what the chief complaint because chief complaint is the essence of the case and then the chief complaint will be the the, the way your compass eh, of how you want to manage how you want to your thought process about the case the chief complaint because if not you don't there are many things in life now 1001 things no way you can ask everything so your with the compass of your of for you for this case is the chief complaint so very important eh? if you are unable to identify the chief complaint you uh, unable to get the chief complaint properly you're not going to you will be wrong direction so we out you will wrong direction and then you will wrong diagnosis you know even your history taking also will be wrong and then you found out you have to do all over again what a waste of time eh? so 
the key is that history uh, uh, the chief uh, then you go for the history of Ethiopia, history of presenting illness or the present illness the, the you know the uh two way to to think about it is it presenting illness or the present illness eh? so when you start clocking your mind basically as i told earlier have to be have this of thought process of when where why what and how and look for chronological event and then you have to decide your case is acute or chronic because the way you're going to manage the case present the case and also and the way are you going to think about the case in terms of acute and chronic are different let's say asthma asthma a chronic case or acute case this case a known case of asthma but child can be acute exacerbation so is it as is it a chronic case or a acute case anybody hmm? is that the huh what eh tak dengar ah ya sir eh ya sir apa 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 Hello? Hello, ha? Uh, can you hear me, Doctor? Tak dengar ke tadi? Um, I'm sorry, Doctor. Ha? Eh? Um, tadi uh, internet saya macam tak stable sangat. So, saya oh, tak... kesian ni lah. Internet tak stable. <laughs> sorry. Uh, um. Ay, macam mana lah. Cik, nak belajar internet tak stable ni. Oh, uh, Anis dan Jeha. Huh? Hello, Doctor. Can you hear me? Tak stable juga. Eh, hey, saya stable, Doctor. Ah, uh, if the child kami be asthma, uh -huh. and be acute, child uh -huh. acute exacerbation. Ah, uh -huh. child uh -huh. kami acute exacerbation, and also is uh, uh, the child background is asthma. Is a chronic case or low acute case? Uh, acute or subacute, I think. A chronic case lah, got asthma. Talking about illness, the illness is the asthma, and it's a chronic case. Is the child coming bronchial pneumonia? Bronchial pneumonia, chronic maybe. Bronchial pneumonia. Eh, no, acute, 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 acute. Kita akan acute apa? Chronic apa? No, that thing. That thing. Tapi kan, kerap. Uh, why did when I search from NCBI, they say that acute exacerbations are acute? The acute exacerbation, but asthma is a chronic case. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Uh, acute exacerbation is a presenting of asthma, but asthma is a chronic illness. Because HOPI, if the HOPI history of presenting illness. We're talking about the illness. So asthma is a chronic illness. You have to tell, you have to tell us the story of asthma, not only the story of acute exacerbation. If talking about bronchopneumonia, bronchopneumonia is an day and then probably five days, set ten days history. Most of the time is acute illness. Nephrotic syndrome, the child coming with edema due to nephrotic syndrome, relapse of nephrotic syndrome, acute or chronic? Chronic, doctor. Ah, chronic. Hmm? So the underlying illness eh, is a chronic illness. If coming with Acute uh, to swollen, swollen. Uh, the body is swollen, swollen. Uh, the edema because acute, uh, because of the acute glomerulonephritis. Acute or chronic? Uh, I think it's chronic because it has underlying symptoms. Alah, AGN on only five days, seven days. You see, acute or chronic depend on the time when the illness started. The illness started less than two weeks. Consider as uh, acute. Acute. 
if illness occur more than two weeks, consider as subacute and three months are uh, above chronic. Okay, tak ada subacute semua, ke chronic je lah. Oh, okay, okay, chronic. Banyak pening pala, subacute, acute dan sebagainya. Eh. Okay, Certain okay. disease, four weeks. Eh, they cough. Cough, less than four weeks, consider as acute. More than four weeks, consider as chronic. chronic. According to definition, so acute glomerulonephritis is a history. It, it, but body is what is still a swollen edema for five days because acute glomerulonephritis is a acute, acute case. Yes. The child is anemia because of the thalassemia. So what illness is what chronic acute complication? Chronic, though. Uh -huh. The animator present with anemia for five days. Well, anemia for five days, but the background is thalassemia. So the presenting problem is acute. Five days, oh. but the illness is uh, chronic. Chronic because it's only for two or three years. You have okay. to be clear on that. Eh? Okay, that there. Any other, any other question? Uh, no, that's all right there. You are perhaps that you're you're huh? so clear that chronic and acute. Ne? That's what I'm saying. Clear that there. Eh? Suifah Hajar Ara tak dapat muka ni. Mak Far, Noor Nabilah, Nakwit, Ikwan. Hmm? Mana muka you all ni? Because kita orang punya rule is that kalau kita nampak muka, kita tak sure you consider as datang ke tak datang. Tu ada kori tak? Apa tu acute and chronic ni? Ada, ada tanya tak? Eh? Before we go further, acute and chronic depend on the time eh? of presenting. You have to appreciate with acute exacerbation of bronchial asthma, the exacerbation is acute. Uh, but eh, the asthma is the illness is chronic. Hmm? The illness is chronic. Eh? Asthma is a chronic illness. Paham tak? Okay. The second thing your history is that severity. Your history also must able to identify how severe the illness is. Eh? Let's say the child will come in with respiratory distress, shortness of breath. Kalau dia just come with tachypnea only, can, with no other symptom, the tachypnea not very, not very bad, so it can be mild. The child with tachypnea uh, with a nasal flare, some uh, uh, intercostal recession can be moderate. The child coming with tachypnea, the history also says child is cyanose. There is a mark, mark intercostal recession can be severe. So you still also have to have has to has has to have this uh, this as an indicator to tell us even to tell you as a person who club to recognize your patient is the disease is having the having now result in acute in mild moderate or severe in severity this is very important very important because it tell because it you know the severity tell you because very important because in terms of management and what to do. Different severity at different level of management. Okay. And then the other thing, your history must have also positive history and negative history. You understand positive and negative history? Let's say the check out shortness of breath, but there is a wheeze. Okay. So there is positive history of wheezing, but there is no stridor. Stridor is a negative, 
history of the shortness of breath. Chief complaint, shortness of breath for three days. Blah, blah, blah. You present the noted card, the child is having wheezing, no? and but no straight off. So the positive history is, a, is, is the wheezing. The negative history is the straight off. Both are equally important because it tells us what, where the lesion, the, the cause of obstruction is of the airway. Very important. Many of you like to give the positive history only, but they forget about the negative history. But you, they, they, what they don't know that negative history is as important as positive history because it helps you to determine where, what the problem is and to exclude those who are the other possible diagnosis that related to chief complaint. So it has to be in HOPI, it's to presenting illness. Eh? Then Okay, it will be about systemic review. Systemic review is system by system. Okay, you ask during his uh, during the history taking for the for the inexperienced people. Yeah, you do, you want to make sure you don't miss anything. Eh? By uh, let, uh, but no, you don't miss anything. That's the reason you ask in your history taking the systemic systemic review. No, oh. when the child you ask even if the child got shortness of breath. You do ask about other things, any abnormal pain, any diarrhea, all those things. Just a system of you. It's good for you at your level because you don't miss things. But at certain level, you don't need this anymore. At certain level, you can direct to ask shortness of breath, asking for the other thing related to shortness of breath because you have the certain experience already to make sure that you don't miss things. There is systemic review eh? system review system by system but you know history taking history already can indicate to you the uh, to the chief complaint eh? the chief complaints already can indicate to you what the main system is let's say it is shortness of breath it can be a respiratory it can be a cardiovascular it can be a metabolic hmm? or it can be sometimes CNS. Let's say the child is jaundice. So it can be a GIT tract system, which is hepato, uh, hep liver, or it can be a your hemat uh, hematology, especially the hemolytic anemia. So it tell you that the, the chief complaint already can tell you which system that you need to focus. Eh? <laughs> So remember, chief complaint usually is a symptoms, eh? a little symptoms. And then you have to ask the other history to complete the history taking. Eh? You have to, to, to ask this, yeah, past medical history. Past medical history is any other history that the patient has not eh? as a relationship, the patient has, but they have no relation to HOPI either still recover or still ongoing. Let's say patient is asthmatic. Oh, then you ask patient uh, to, uh, operation for appendectomy three years ago. That is your past medical history. Because anything related with asthma will be your history of presenting in the HOPI. Because anything related with asthma. But, and it, but then you have to know patient has been operated before, patient got hypertension, that in adult, then you know not related with asthma, then that is your past medical history. Okay, in children, at the extra thing, we have more history than adult. Like birth history, birth history, some to certain patient got become very important, certain patient got delayed developmental, if patient got fit at the age of two year, two months, then birth history do help you to pinpoint the diagnosis. Let's say patient about to, if let's say the patient got birth asphyxia. So it helps you explain why the child, the baby having, uh, the baby is having a delay developmental. So birth history, including the antenatal history, even even natal history and postnatal history. 
feeding history, dietary history has to be complete. Sometimes important, let's say pressure failure to try, eh? pressure coming with anemia. Immunization history important because certain cases like say the patient develop HIV, meningitis, or patient develop uh, diphtheria because immunization is to tell you that why patient unable to do uh, it's not complete the diphtheria they develop diphtheria so it tell you the cause of event cause eh, event eh, immunization history so in order for you to to know the immunization to able to So immunization history you know, is very, in order for you to able to analyze the immunization history, you have to know the immunization schedule of Malaysia. You know? Yeah? Google dia. Eh? Ada sekarang yang terbaru punya. Let us, you better Google it. Eh? The other history that particular for pits, you don't have much in adult, is developmental history. Uh, developmental history, you must know develop, but in order for you to able to to ask patient or parents about developmental, you have to know the developmental parameter of normal child, I mean a milestone. You have to know that inside your mind. If not, you're going to ask, you're unable to conclude. Delay, because the decision is, is it delay? Is it not delay? You have to know. So you must know developmental parameter, the milestone. And then the milestone, like when the patient able to, then usually by that, we make it like a four, or four sub, Sub, sub developmental history, one is gross motor, fine motor and vision, language and speech and social. The last one is cognitive, yeah? if you can get cognitive. So you have to know the parameter. Let's say when the, for gross motor, normally when the child can turn over, full pushing, they put the supine to prone and go back to supine. When the patient can sit with support, sit without support, when the patient can uh, crawl, when the patient can stand and cruising, when the patient can walk, small fine motor, when the patient can reach object with two two thing, two hand, reach transfer object, uh, one hand to one other hand, when the patient can pin, pinch, uh, have pinch, when the language also, when the patient can uh, can, uh, can say ba 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 blah blah blah. Eh? Uh, initially quick for a cool blah 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 and then first sentence is dada abba you know, despite all, all the mother punya you know, mother punya contribution many child can many baby can say dada first abba first i don't know why nobody know why i cannot explain you why something that we cannot understand why mama later after dada baba then you can say mama don't ask me lah. I mean, the one who contribute a lot is the mother, but stand, but still the baby say abba abba first. Eh? So that's life. Eh? So you have to know two sentences nak makan to know when the patient can say saya nak makan. Eh? Then language, find more to social when they have strange anxiety when they can play. All this you have to know the parameter. You have to have file lah. No choice lah. Eh? Hafal, baca hafal, baca hafal, baca hafal. Tak ada, tak ada magic bullet. Mungkin kalau dia tulis-tulis, 
you bakar masuk dalam kertas you bakar waktu you minum ini it, it, it help or not i don't know kita kena make study ya so people kasi dah some this one student told me datuk doktor saya bakar satu tulis sebab rabu saya tak dalam air saya minum so boleh ingat i don't know true or not lah eh but you have no choice the parameter you have to hafal all the milestone you have to memorize it and not much you can do about it and then the cognitive Oh, Odina mata tu tutup. Aku 12 tengah hari dah ngantuk lagi you all ni. I choose 12 tengah hari je supaya you all lepas tu boleh makan. Hmm. And cognitive something you have to learn eh? how to ask development is cognitive eh. So after that that is still important in family history. The aim of family history to able to construct the family tree to understand the consanguineness merit and genetic disease and to understand the genetic disease and pattern on inherited. So you know what consanguineness or not? Hmm? Consanguineness merit. Kawin sepupu sepapa tak tu. Ah sepupu, at least sampai dua pupu. Eh beyond that tak, tak consider lagi dah. Eh is two generation. Hmm? Artinya siapa sendiri product of consanguineness merit? Siapa tanya aku? Eh, siapa sini produk aku si Gunas Merit? Hmm? Bukan tak boleh kan? Islam sepupu boleh kahwin kan? Betul tak? Eh? Boleh, tapi it just to tell you that the chances of you having the uh, to the cumulative genetic defect will be not separate around eh? Last time in Chinese kan, if you have nama depan tu Chan means you tak boleh dia tak boleh kahwin tau. Ya same surname and the last time in Chinese. Because I think they observe for a long time already they noted that if you marry same surname chances of you have a genetic heritage uh, <coughs> disease is high. A thousand years of observation. The other history Atikah, kenapa Atikah? Ngantuk? Eh? Apa dia pusing ni? Nak tempat lain dah? Dia ya, ada ha? Saya minum kopi tu, saya buat kopi Saya make sure saya ada kopi depan saya Sebab minum ni The good thing about this about tu, online ni, you boleh minum kopi Dia ada history, look at is a drug history eh? Social economic history, very important children because they are playing they go to the school eh, you have to look at environmental history important you have to look at certain disease like asthma you need to have a proper uh, to, uh, developmental history because many disease like asthma is the, is also environmental disease eh for the tigers eh, from the dust eh, cats and so on eh so you have to know drug history in children not so much eh under adult adult very important in drug history children We mainly we know want to know is allergy or not allergy to the name because children's the drug they are not living with a drug unlike adult. Eh? Adult sometimes at my age people live with two or three medication. Eh? So after you have clock all the case, you know, then you have to have a critical thinking. Critical thinking, what you think, see what's the problem, where the problem is. When the problem is, the problem start. Which process involved? Infection, inflammatory, tumor, endocrine. Eh? Endocrine. You to look all this. Eh? Endocrine, and then you also have to look which system involved. With the main system involved, which system is not that involved, and then you have to understand. You have to ask: Is there any system involved? And then. Is it acute or chronic? How severe is it? Is it mild, moderate, or severe? And any complication? You have to have lump sum up all of you lump sum up together after you clock the case. Your background is your knowledge. We include the anatomy, pathology, physiology, biochemical, and microbiology. You have to have all this thinking. No, sit down and thought about the case. Eh? Then only then you can have conclusion. Do make the 
dan uh, what how to proceed with physical examination and to make the diagnosis. Yeah. The second thing is presentation. How you this is something you have to help lah. You you see you cannot blame people who you think you know a lot but you're not being judged. You feel that you're not being judged properly, though you know a lot, and then people still you not, didn't give you good mark or still don't understand you, because people can understand people can assess you only what the thing come to your mouth to your mouth. What the thing come to your mouth, that's how we can assess you. If the thing that come to your mouth is good, then it's good. If the thing come to your mouth is not lousy, then we assume you lousy. Though you know inside your brain you have everything. We don't know. One day we can take a chip and put inside the computer. Oh yeah, the failure knows everything. Maybe we can. One day we can do that. But at the moment we can't do that. We can't. We can only assess you what is inside your what you come out to your mouth. And you must able to organize your thought and also to present properly. Uh, present with a proper presentation. How you pre present as usual, introduce your patient, the source of history, tell us the chief complaint, the duration of uh, Chief complaint mainly the fever for three days, feet for four days. Eh? Uh, you present the data chief complaint. No need to characterize the symptoms in the chief complaint. Just tell her the chief complaint. And history of, you present history of present illness. You see, present illness is a little related to chief complaint. Eh? Even when you do a systemic review, you noted that certain symptoms is related to chief complaint, it becomes HOPI. Remember that. That's why chief complaint are very important. If you cannot identify the chief complaint, you cannot become doctor. That's it. Finish. The key to become doctor is to identify the chief complaint. It means that you understand the patient problem. So when you present, it also had to be inside when, why, what, where, how, and so on. You present in chronological order. Preferably, don't present August, December. You present, let's say the patient admitted at that stage yesterday, you always present two, uh, five weeks before ago, uh, two, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, three days ago, one day ago. So we can look patient in terms of chronologically how the things occur step by step because the symptoms usually come not at one time yeah? usually they come back because the, the chronological event tell us what's happening is it the patient become more severe or not yeah? and then look for severity and complication how severe your history in your history you must able to decide the severity and also the complication yeah, let's say patient got AGE, AGN, then patient develop fit. So we know that patient develop fit because severe hypertension due to because AGN. So do you tell the other complications. And please remember positive history and negative history has the same importance. Eh? I will give an example of the positive and negative history. Yeah? Same importance. Eh? Don't focus on positive history only. Okay, then after that, you present your systemic, systemic review or systematic review, which is not related with HOPI. Yeah, systemic review, systematic review. And the other, phys, phys, other, the other history that we discussed just now, and then if there are anything in the world, then tell us the progress in the world. Progress in the world usually is not HOPI because the intervention from the doctors. So, my knowledge to you is simple. Hmm? There's no magic bullet. Practice make it perfect. Okay, if you, you know, you see, if you're sleepy at this moment, means that you're not that interested about, you're not interested. You tell me that you are not interested. Hmm? You see, somebody who really want to become a doctor, when people people talk then how to take history, their mind become alert because they know that important and they know they are very eager to solve the patient problem. You ask yourself, lah, go back and think about yourself. You know, this is 12 o'clock, uh, mid of the day. 
In physiological twelve o'clock is where your brain is supposed to be uh, active. Twelve o'clock, you mid afternoon. After two o'clock, one thirty to two after the lunch, you start to wind down again. They went up. So twelve o'clock is your brain should to be active. If you sleepy, ask yourself, are you really fit? Want to become doctor or not? Hmm? It's a test, physiological test. Hmm? And as I said to you earlier, there's no magic bullet. You have to practice. You have to come practice. Only then you make it better. You can become a better person. Extract the knowledge. Extract the chief complaint, and then you can become better doctor. The only way to practice. Hopefully, you all can come back, see the patient, and practice. Bila boleh balik? Hmm? Anybody? Bila boleh balik? Uh, I think December, right? December? Yes. Huh? Yes, December. December. So, nak quit ni adikah? Siapa ada tak? Tak ada. Muhammad nak quit? Tak ada eh? Ada, ada doktor. Anika? Uh, Atika, is it Atika doktor? Ha? Huh? Atika, Atika right? Atika ke Anika? Atika ha, ada? Oh yes. Ha? Huh? Yes, yes, I'm here. Uh, you all the problem internet ke? Hmm? Uh, I, I got my uh, my phone charged uh, just now. So uh, because I'm entering the You pakai phone eh? Hmm? Yes, yes. Kau tak pakai computer? Tak ada laptop? Uh, yeah, I got laptop but um, it does not support my internet connection does not support my laptop. Ya, yeah, kita tak hmm. nampak full lecture ni tak apalah. Siapa yang tak ada laptop sini? Semua ada laptop? Kau semua ada laptop tak? Eh? Because I don't think phone is conducive. Uh, you see in learning, eh? in learning, environment, learning environment is also very important eh? for you to get the most of the learning process. Environment, environment it means that the persekitaran, suasana, temperature, then you punya ni eh? and then persekitaran is is something is is something that it, the fact you have to accept because how much you want to learn you we cannot hope you get 100% you got 80% 70% 60% 40% 30% so optimize the environment to much the visual visual then you can get the you optimize your learning process and so I don't believe using handphone will give you a lot of, you know, unless you are one to one. You to one to one, that. Hmm. One to one face. One to one is bit bit lower than face to face, lah. One to one. But if you big group like this, it better nice to have a good environment and you know, and so you can concentrate in the learning process. Yelah, tapi things are not as always as it is. Siapa di Sabah sini? Siapa di Sabah? Eh, siapa di Sabah? Ah, tak ada, Doktor. Eh? Tak ada, tak ada. Hello? Hello? Eh? Hello? Ah. Tak ada, Doktor. Siapa tu? Eh? Huh? There is no one from Sabah. Tak tahu masuk ke bawah dia. Hmm. Eh? Huh? Ada daripada Sabah? Tak ada? Tak ada, Doktor. Tak ada, Doktor. Tak ada. Tak apalah. Okey lah. Okey eh? Okey. Ada pula tanya? Doktor nak tanya? Ah. 
kalau reference untuk textbook ke apa I main reference doktor prefer guna apa? Ai, buku di PDP saja. Dulu tak ada dah hospital pediatric, topical pediatric. Sekarang ni satu buku ya nampak ada nampak dia pakai buku sunflower tu kan. Ah jadi boleh refer situ kan doktor boleh. Boleh lah. Ai tak nampak buku lain dah. Ada buku lain. Kalau fix hmm. protocol tak boleh. Ha? Eh? Fix protocol. Fix protocol tak dia pakai lah lagi. Fix protocol for kalau you dah di doktor. It help you to be reference for the management but not a clinical punya ni. Pil protokol tu boleh lah tengok dia punya dia punya tabulator apa tu apa tu dia punya set, apa tu certain graph certain, certain itu je lah hmm? tapi tak adalah benda lain sangat more of the pil protokol is for more for management hmm? it's not a reference book huh? it is for the management the book was designed for the management for the doctors. Okay, anything else? Ada lagi? Okay, tak ada dah? Okay.